on. So I just saw this uh, interesting poll. Uh, basically, it's explaining how much the younger generation, the uh, 18 to 24 year olds who usually uh, vote liberal, apparently are, are very upset with this new budget that just came out. So if you look here, I'll just zoom in and it says that 32% of 18 to 24 year olds uh, agree that the budget is not helping them at all. And then 39%, which is actually the highest among all age groups, they are uh, saying that it's not really helping them at all. They don't seem to be quite as it said of the people are saying, no, it's not helping at all. But then when you look at like, yes, completely, it's under, they couldn't even fit a percentage number in there. So it's like two or 3%. I mean, that's kind of crazy. Cause like, you know, that's, when I was younger, and I'll admit I myself was way more liberal than I am now, but most people, uh, when they're younger, especially when they're young adults, they are very liberal. You know, there's that old saying, you know, if you're young and you're liberal, or if you're young and conservative, you don't have a heart. But if you're older and liberal, you don't have a brain. Well, I think a lot of these young people have uh, heard that mantra before, and they're starting to think, hey, maybe uh, liberalism isn't exactly what it's cracked up to be. That doesn't mean these people are all of a sudden right wingers because maybe they're turning towards Pierre Polyev or maybe some other you know Green Party or something like that. It just means that they're fed up with this current liberal government, as am I. These younger people are because of the tr uh, the, scru uh, the scrutiny with Trudeau are waking up faster than I did because when I was you know, their age, it was Stephen Harper. And then I remember in 2015, a lot of people were saying, hey, we need a younger prime minister in there. He's he's intelligent. He's he's really cares with the country and Canadians. Harper doesn't, yada, yada, yada. And back then I was I thought, OK, I guess that must be true. I don't know any better. And going back to that, I think, wow, what a what a lie we were all told. Clear. It turns out that Stephen Harper actually cares a lot more than Justin Trudeau does. And that's for obvious reasons. I've stated that. Um, you know, why Trudeau or how Trudeau shows that he doesn't care about Canadians. Example number one, not giving us an election, which is what we want. So, you know, what this tells me is that, you know, a lot of these younger kids, instead of just being liberal because they're liberal and they don't know anything about politics, they've kind of looked at what's happening and they've probably been talking to their parents who were probably like me and when they were younger, they were liberal too. And they probably explained to them, hey, listen, you can still be on the left and vote for someone like Pierre Polyev. Because if you're on the, like the center left, Pierre Polyev is actually the closest politician to you in terms of the political spectrum. Right, I mean, yes, Pierre is a conservative, but the left has gone just so far over to the left, the center left to the far left is now considered the far right. right? I've had many people tell me that I'm on the far right or that I'm too far right, and I'm not even on the right, which just tells you a lot about where their political spectrum is, right? So. But that's how that works, right? If you're on the far right and you see someone center right, you're going to view them as far left. So it's just kind of how it works. But I don't think in my lifetime I've ever heard of, you know, what's this? It's 71% of young Canadians do not like this budget. And this budget was supposed to help turn that around for the Liberals. That's why they did it. And it seems like they're not falling for it. And I'll be honest with you folks, that's really, really good news. That is music to my ears. Because younger people are usually more easily to be you know, manipulated, especially by politicians. It's not working. And there's actually not any age group here that favors it. Uh, yes, mostly, which is the second best category, the most positive category, is the uh, 65 plus with only 24%. So even them, you know, 41%, uh, it's not at all. 28%, no, not really. I think that says 3% there where it says yes completely. But if you look at that bottom blue, which is like the most positive uh, way you could feel about this, the yes completely margin, there isn't a single one that's hit 10%. No age group likes what he's doing. So, you know, maybe when we see those poll numbers and they see that, you know, 25% of people are still going to vote for Trudeau, maybe that is because liberals generally take polls more than conservatives. So maybe when the election happens, the liberals, it's actually even worse for the liberals than we thought. That's very possible, too. 
not to mention we still got a while away to go for the uh, to get to the election. So the, you know Trudeau's probably going to do a lot more damage until October of 2025, unless we get a really nice surprise up coming in May. Again, don't think we will. I hope we will, but it's not likely. So the longer we have to wait, the more this moron is going to screw up the country. It's going to put even more people into Pierre Polyev's pocket. I don't think it's possible that he can get 250 seats, but wouldn't that be hilarious? I mean, the Liberal Party, would they, they would have, would they, would they even have 30 seats if that happened? Imagine just 30 dumbass liberals sitting in a corner and there's this huge caucus of conservatives and then they're going to look down and say, hey, listen, this is what you, this is what you did to Canada. So Canada decided to shift in a major way. And I, I don't know if, there is, if there's anyone who's ever hit uh, 250 seats before. And again, I don't even know if that's possible logically from a logical standpoint. Mathematically, I guess it is. But let me know in the comment section if you've ever seen something like that, like 225, 250 seats. Because so I definitely like to look into that and see what uh, what the landscape of Canada was. Uh, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, looking at these polls and uh, talking about them a little bit. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps this channel uh, out a lot. Uh, thanks again so much for watching, and I'll be back shortly with another video.